Monarch makes it easy to move connected sets of Salesforce data between orgs. All relationships are maintained. Monarch has a visual interface, powerful features, and provides maximum security so that your data stays private. Let's take a quick look at Monarch. First, let's build a data set. Select that option at left and enter any Salesforce org over here at right. It can be a production org, a scratch org, a developer org or sandbox, even an OAuth endpoint. Click the Next button to proceed. You can create a new data set or replace an existing one. You can create a new template, use one of your existing templates, or select a pre-built template. For example, this org has Field Service Lightning installed. Just select that package and Monarch will automatically generate an entire template for Field Service Lightning. Let's do something simpler for our example. We're going to look at the account object and opportunity and opportunity line item as children. Click the Next button to proceed. You can have any number of parent objects. You can select records by name, all records, or select records with a filter. Let's grab all accounts. Next, you need to add the children that you want attached to account. So for example, we have opportunity and opportunity line item. Let's add contacts. Next, you decide the fields you need to load. And lastly, you just build the data set. Monarch uses the bulk data API and can build and migrate data sets up to a million records. Just like that, we loaded 1,000 accounts, 150 opportunities, and line items and contacts. All right, now let's look at how to migrate a data set. Select Migrate Data Sets at left and select the username for the destination Salesforce org that you want to migrate data sets into over here at right. You'll see a list of all of your available data sets on the left. Select the data set that you want and you'll see the object hierarchy and you can look at the objects by name or by the fields in each object. When you have the data set that you want, click the Next button. So on the Matching Fields tab, you'll see all of your objects from the hierarchy here at left and all of the external references here below that. For any object, you can select the criteria that you want to match the destination object with. So for example, on account, I might want to match by name, but also by postal code. If it's a sandbox that have the same IDs, you can match by ID. If you want to match by any recently created ID, you can use a virtual ID. This is useful for objects that don't have a name. When you've selected your matching criteria, click Next, and you can select fields to scramble by. So for example, on account, we might want to obscure the annual revenue. Click Next, and you can select any number of assets that you want to deactivate before the data set is migrated. These assets will automatically be reactivated after the migration. So this stops any interference from triggers, workflow rules, flows, or things like that. Lastly, you come to the Migrate Datasets tab. You can decide what you want to do if there's an error. You can allow automatic field truncation if that's what you need. You can describe what type of error logs you want to maintain. And you can either use serial or parallel processing. You can also choose to upsert records or also delete and then upsert records onto the destination. Click the Migrate Dataset button to move all of this information to the destination org. So easy, we migrated all of those records to the destination org. All of their interior relationships were maintained and their exterior relationships were reconnected to the best available object on the destination. All right, let's look at Manage Datasets. Select Manage Data Sets over here at left and select the destination org that you want to work with over here at right. Click the Next button and you'll see all of your available data sets on the left. There are various objects here in the center and you have a bunch of options over here at right. The Create button will let you import a new data set from CSV files or XML files. The Remap button will let you remap any of your field names, 
object names, or field values in any existing data set. You can rename, duplicate, and delete data sets with the buttons here in the middle. Lastly, you can import and export data sets as content documents in the destination Salesforce org. On the next tab, you have the option to compare data sets. So, for example, we're looking at the backup data set versus the archive data set, and we can see that some of the pick list values have been changed or remapped. If you go to the Display Report tab, you'll see all of the information about the differences between the data sets, and this can be exported as CSV, PDF, HTML, or Excel files. All right, that's a quick look at managing data sets. Lastly, I wanted to talk about how Monarch provides great data security and privacy. Monarch is a desktop application that communicates directly between your personal computer and your Salesforce account. All data sets are saved on your computer. The data stays on your desktop or in your Salesforce account, not in some third-party cloud outside of your control. So Monarch is a completely secure way for you to move data between orgs and to keep your data 100% private. All right, thank you very much for watching my brief movie about Monarch. You can contact us at support at metazoa.com. We have nonprofit pricing and a 14-day free trial. Thank you so much.